In today's video, we are going to create this amazing magnifying effect in Figma. My name is Jacqueline and this is IKEA Designs. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Now, let's get started. Press F to create your frame. Adjust its width and height properties, then round its corners. Double click the frame label to rename it. Press R and draw a rectangle inside your frame. Round the corners of the rectangle. Duplicate the rectangle and change the color of the copy. Reduce the size of the copy and set its corners to zero. Select the two rectangles and select subtract from the boolean menu. Flatten the new shape. With the shape still selected, press enter to enter its vector mode. Then select these three vector points and round them. Once you're done rounding, exit the vector mode and press R to create a new rectangle. Round its corners as well and change its color. Load the Iconify plugin and select a cart icon. Select both icon and rectangle and make sure they're center aligned. Press K and drag the icon to scale it up. Change the color of the icon. Select both rectangle and icon and press Shift A to add an auto layout. Go to the free pick website and search the image of a sofa. Select the image you like and download or just copy the image and paste it in Figma. With the image selected, copy it from the fill. Select the rectangle and paste it in there. Crop the image and adjust its size. Press T and type out your text. Adjust its position and color as well. Duplicate the text and drag it to the right. Left align the text, change its color and type your value. Press R and create another rectangle. Round its corners and change its color. Press T and type your button text, then adjust its properties. Group the rectangle and the text, then rename the group. Duplicate the image. Press O and create a circle. Drag the circle behind the image copy, select both circle and image and max them. Duplicate the original image once again and convert it to a solid. Adjust its color and set it to a linear. Add a background blur effect to the shape. Now select both shape and max group and group them once again. Then rename the group. Select the image in the max group and increase its size. and adjust its position. Duplicate the frame. Select the ellipse and adjust its position, then adjust the position of the image in the max group as well. Duplicate the frame once again and repeat this process. Repeat the entire process two extra times.
duplicate the first card by holding down optional alt whilst dragging away the card. Select the zoom group and turn off its opacity. Switch to prototype and drag a connection from the image to the next card using the settings as seen. Select the ellipse in the next frame and drag a connection from it to the next frame. Select the ellipse from that frame and drag the connection to the next frame as well. Select the connection of the second frame, set it to Smart Animate and set the trigger to on drag. Repeat this setting for the rest of the other connections. Select the entire zoom group of the second frame and drag a connection from it to the first frame and set its trigger to mouse leave. Repeat this process for the other frames as well. Voila, a magnifying effect in Figma. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to watch the other videos on this channel. Thank you for watching.